Greetings, fellow YouTubers. I have a small glass of beer, and it's mixed with the uh, Peaches and Cream Signature Select from last night. Let's try a sip of it. It does kind of water the beer down a little bit, but the trade-off is that water gives you a little bit of hydration with your alcohol, and then it gives it a delicious peaches and cream taste. So pros and cons, I guess. So we got two things to talk about. One, Ozzy Osbourne made it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and that is super awesome. I'm super happy for him. He fucking deserves it, dude. 100%. And second of all, Jessica Boyle, my ex, needs to stop talking about my ex crushes and shit on her page. Like in one sentence, she'll be like, oh, well, I'm not going back to Casper for Josh. Fuck him. And then in the next sentence, like two seconds later, she's talking about how she wants to drive up by my house in a cab or an Uber and fucking masturbate to me and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is this unhinged cunt's problem, dude? No, I'm sick of it. <sighs> and she needs to keep my fucking ex crushes out of her fucking mouth because you'll never be as pretty as they are, for one. And two, notice how I'm saying ex crushes instead of naming them? This is a generalization and it's out of respect for them because they get so much crap from my fucking YouTube trolls. I'm sick of it. And let me ask you this, Jessica. How would it feel if I did the same fucking thing to you, brought up all your ex-crushes and threw it in your face? But I quite frankly do not give a shit if my ex-crushes want to fucking date me or not. I'd much rather people would just quit talking about them and leave them alone. Sick of this shit. You know what I'm saying, you two? There's not a fucking thing you can do about it except ride the wave. And be like, well, try to focus on other things that are more positive, like your idol got inducted into the Hall of Fame again for a second time. That's most definitely what's up. I'd love to see Ozzy collab with, uh, what's his name, Paul McCartney, that'd be sick. I think that'd be just a treat to see Ozzy collab with Paul McCartney. I know Ozzy would love it. Also, it's like, but circling back to what I was just saying earlier. Jessica Boyle, we are never getting back together. You need to stop talking about me on your fucking pages. And if you come up to Casper, Wyoming, show up to my fucking house. I will call the cops on you. You acted shocked when I did it the first time. I, I warned her that we broke up. And I don't want to fucking see her. And I called the cops on her. And she didn't believe me. But I called non-emergency because she didn't have any any weapons on her or anything. So, a lot of time we, she. I figured, okay, we could just talk about this like adults. She brought over some alcohol, and we were drinking, having a good time. And then the cops showed up by the time we were a little bit drunk, and I figured, okay, maybe Jessica Boyle's matured a bit. No, she hasn't. She's the worst. She has psychotic problems, dude. She does. My ex-girlfriend is fucking insane. And everyone can see it, dude. Everyone can fucking see it. That's the fucking thing of it. She's doing anything she can on her streams to get me to get, like, pissed off and mad. I'm just so over it. It shows you how desperate and petty she is. And she realized, hey, maybe if I would have been a little, a little bit less psychotic to Josh, maybe he would have still 
been with me kind of thing. Halloween is in like fucking two weeks. So I'm going to try to get my new album done before then. No guarantees though. $544 in Google AdSense. Well, sweet. That's what's up. I'm trying to get that chance for tomorrow so I can get that award in the mail. Because <sighs> usually I get Google AdSense so I'm like fucking the 21st. I could really use that $500 to you, man. Shit. Save. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just fucking tired of it, you know? I'm tired of my idols getting harassed. I'm tired of my ex crushes getting harassed because of my stupid fucking YouTube trolls. And then Jessica's going to fucking add to it by talking about my ex crushes on her fucking streams. And I'm fucking sick of it. It's like, Jessica, we broke up. Stop. Here's the thing of it. When I first started dating Jessica, people thought, okay, this could be a positive change for Josh in his life. He hasn't had pussy in six years. It'll be good for him. And then they, my trolls couldn't handle it, so they do anything they can to harass us. And then when they saw how mentally unhinged she was, they went from being, oh, I hate Cobra. Fuck you for getting a girlfriend, to, Oh, wait a second. This is pure fucking entertainment, guys. Ho, 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 look at this. We pissed Jessica off. It'll fucking make Josh's dates with her miserable. And as far as fucking not taking her out for Valentine's Day, she wanted to fucking stream. And when Jessica streams, she'll spend hours doing it. We've seen her do it, dude. I did buy her flowers on Valentine's Day, though. That is, at the very least, you know. And on one particular visit... When she came here, I took her out for sushi, mind you, and I spent a shit ton of cash on some nice sushi and some plum sake, you know, and we had a wonderful dinner date together when that happened. And that restaurant in question makes really good sushi, too. I'm not going to name drop them because I don't want them getting fucking harassed. No, I'm just fucking sick of it anymore, you know? If I have to get a restraining order, I will. I've already pressed charges on her for revenge porning me. And if that doesn't go anywhere with it, then I'll have to get a restraining order because she's talking about showing up to my fucking house without my permission and masturbating to me outside of my window. Like, what the fuck is this bitch's problem? She's got the fucking fix, and she's like, oh. Well, I didn't realize my cock was that amazing. Right, one second. Oh. She likes Andrew Dice Clay, too, so it's like, hey, fuck it. You want to, we can spend the day together, it don't matter. And I offered to cook for her on Valentine's Day, but she said she wasn't hungry, so I'm like, okay, fine. You want to spend all day streaming? You can do that. I don't care what we do. At the time, I didn't care because it's like, as long as I'm spending V-Day with you, I don't care. At the time. She's doing anything she can to ruin my reputation and discredit me, and nobody's buying it, dude. <laughs> like, she's talking all this shit on my father and this and that, and blah, 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 and it's like, well, Jessica, how come your parents haven't bought you a house, hmm? Because they know you're, you're too mentally insane, and that house would be fucking destroyed. Also, Jessica Messica rules your sad life, Boyle. She does. She fucking does. I'm telling you, Jessica's got a fucking wicked lesbian crush on, on Messica. They both have a crush on each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
and I wish she would just fucking leave me alone. She constantly bitches and moans and groans about how she's sick and tired of Jessica Messica harassing her, and all this shit she talks, but then turns around and justifies harassing me because she loves me. Fuck you, you insufferable hypocrite. And I personally, no, I can already see it. Jessica Boyle's going to die a miserable, lonely, lonely old lady, bitter fucking drunk, with too many cats, die alone in her fucking parents' house. I can already see it. And honestly, I think the only reason why her parents put up with it is because it's their daughter. And when you have a child, it's just unconditional love. I can't begin to imagine what that's like. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like having a pet to an extent, you know? When it's like, because sometimes they're called dog moms, etc. You, you get it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I do get it to an extent because I would do anything for Puff. If my account was in the negative and he needed food or heating lights, oh well, I'd order them. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Chuck one of these down for the morning. I'll be good for a couple hours. God damn. <clears throat> That's good lolly governor. <sighs> but no, I'm not going to let Jessica boil psychotic shit get to me. She's talking all this fucking shit. And people are not buying it, dude. <sighs> mm. She wants the pink coat back. She should have taken it with her to pack the fucking Virginia Beach, dude. Anything she says about me immediately gets reported back to me. So she can't fucking sit there and be like, oh, no one's going to tell Josh what I said about him. <laughs> That's what makes it more insane how she is. She doesn't seem to think that, oh, a lot of people care about Josh and fucking... Anything you say about him is going to get sniped and re-recorded and re-posted on the internet for everyone to mock and laugh at you. She doesn't get it, dude. People are fucking feeling sorry for her and laughing at her. It's... Oy. And then when I made a video talking about how I pressed charges on Jessica Boyle for revenge pointing my ass, it got taken down. So I like how YouTube can silence the victim here. But if it were gender reversed, YouTube wouldn't put up with it. They'd be like, yes, queen, we'll have that fucking asshole arrested. So we just got to keep going and keep doing our thing, man.